Okay, so it's handbrake cable day, and uh, so I'm going to be doing fitting new handbrake cables, new springs for the shoes, new handbrake shoes, got four in there, uh, new rear pads, and new rear discs. So um, I'm going to do the brake hoses on another day because I'm going to paint the calipers, so when I take the calipers off, the the, um, to paint them the hoses will get changed then uh, so I'll show you inside the car and show you the sort of um, preparation work I've done for this okay so inside the car I've taken out the center console now um, I haven't done a video for this mainly because there's plenty of center console removal videos so uh, so that's fine um, you have to take it out though um, so you can see the uh, the handbrake cables come in through and um, it just gives you access to everything there so that's that bit there and then in the back the rear seat base has been removed look at the state of that you dirty boy um, and uh, you can either make a fortune here I've already found one pound and two pence under the seat so uh, so yeah if you you know hopefully you might even uh, pay for the job uh, with what you find under there also a small pair of doll shoes I wondered where they'd got to that they caused a few tantrums around about three years ago if I remember right so uh, so yeah so it's uh, it's a magical journey of discovery when you remove that rear seat and this is where the seat base comes out of there's this plastic here so it pops out of this but this plastic is clipped into there so you also then need to push this together afterwards to remove that because you need that out of the way to uh, to get the carpet up and then just here you got this here you got it on both sides so I'll carefully, I'm not going to do this, am I going to do it one handed, am I going to be stupid? Yeah, of course I'm going to be stupid. There we go. That's that lifted out there, it's a lot easier if you do it two handed and you're not filming. Um, that then pops out a clip just there. And then you work your way along and there's a couple more clips here. which hopefully you'll do without destruction. And then once the clips are out, just push it down and see how that interlocks there. And that takes that out. So you're all clear here now. So that allows the carpet to be lifted up on both sides. Um, so you can access where the cables come into the car. So that's the preparation work done. Um, actually, when I pull this up, oops. I'll um, I'll be using like a block of wood or something to hold the carpet back so I can be coming in and out of the car. Another thing to bear in mind if you don't want a flat battery and that's to pop the door locks so if you imagine the door lock would normally be in that position there and you get a screwdriver or your finger and you push the door lock double click it like that what that will do then, it stops the courtesy lights coming on in the car. Uh, they're on at the moment because I've just opened the door, but it stops the courtesy lights coming on because you're in and out the car and you, you'll probably end up with a flat battery. So, uh, so yeah, pop the door locks as well. So that's the preparation work done. And, um, and now I'm going to get the car in the air and get the wheel and um, old discs and handbrake stuff off. And then hopefully, it, well, I was hoping it might go without saying, but I thought I'd better just say, make sure your handbrake's off, okay? And make sure this cable is completely slackened off, okay? Because you need slack in this part so you can unhook the cables to take them out and draw them out backwards through the car. All right. Okay, so it's time to get the caliper and disc off, so just pop off the retaining spring. Just pull those out and then the, the spring comes off then tuck behind just here and there's one at the bottom as well that's um, a seven mil hex on that well, 
then calipers can sometimes be seized on so I've just got a rubber mallet just give it a few sharp taps and that should hopefully release it that's it I've just got a hook to uh, secure it to uh, the rear spring. Then to release the, the, the carrier, the caliper carrier, let's get that pad out of the way, um, that's just two 13mm bolts, so one there and one directly below. Take care with that, you don't want to undo, don't undo the wheel bearing, so just one there and one below, just there. And I'm going to be using a six-sided impact socket just because these can be pretty rusted on and you want as good a grip as possible. So there's the carrier there, just those two bolts. Then we've got the brake disc retaining screw, which is a 10 mil. Just that there. And then we'll see how easy this is to come off. And I suspected it's not very. Okay, well this is pretty jammed on solid at the moment might be a mixture of corrosion behind the um, just around this part here the hub and um, and also it could be this because that's the brand new disc and if you look at this lip here that the handbrake shoes sit inside here so that's dead smooth there whereas this is the disc that I took off the other side and it may or may not make it out but it's actually got quite a pronounced lip just there and basically the handbrake shoes even though they're fully retracted are still just catching on there when you try and pull the disc off so how you approach it is up to you if you're changing everything if you're changing shoes and springs and everything like I am uh, it's good because you can get you know quite medieval on it really so I'm just gonna be whacking this it doesn't matter if I knacker up the uh, the springs or, or the shoes um, if uh, if you haven't got any spare parts though think very carefully about how how uh, rough you want to be with taking this off because you could end up causing yourself more problems so uh, so i'll leave that up to you i'm gonna just get twatting it though So that's I've at least broken the, broken the seal between the disc and the hob. The only thing holding it now will be that lip on the um, on the handbrake shoes. So I'm just gonna. What I don't want to be doing is bending this discard though, because it then causes problems after. So I'm just gonna uh, just work my way around, keep turning it. Hopefully, it'll come off. Okay, well, it's definitely caught on the springs because you can see see how it springs back. So it's definitely uh, the handbrake springs that are causing the problem. So I'm just going to get a big pry in there. It's not going to damage the hub. And that's that. And that was the spring just there. So that's ended up having to be, that should be, that should be a curved shape. And uh, so that's ended up straightening itself out. So and there's that lip that I was telling you about, pretty pronounced. So 
that's part of the fun that you can have just getting the bloody disc off there's the other spring just there so that's why I say just you know it's entirely your decision how how rough you want to be with this because uh, something is going to get damaged and if you haven't got spare ones of these you're knackered all right right let's uh, get back to the job that we were supposed to be doing okay well to get the shoes off the first job would normally be to get these retaining springs off which would normally be in there uh, because these have been damaged um, I'll, I'll show you how to get these off in a second because it's easier to show you with uh, with the shoes off so um, so yeah so we've got two springs here one fairly light one and basically you can just compress that and unhook it and um, and then one slightly larger one there so I'll crack on with that So that's a smaller spring off there that enables the shoes to open up and you can basically pull this all out from here like I say I'm, I'm changing the spring so I'm just not bothered at all about bending anything so that's one shoe off unhook the other and that's it you'd obviously have to be a little bit more uh, sedate otherwise so you've got the expander just here and as you can see on the shoes they're not worn okay so if you've got a crap handbrake it's hardly ever because of worn shoes um, what's happened though is the contact surface there's been corrosion under there so just cleaning up that lip on your discs if your discs are still, are still serviceable but I'm changing my discs but um, yeah the, the actual pad surface when you see the brand new shoes there's there's virtually no difference because these don't work when the wheels rotating so uh, but it's still worth changing them because what can happen is this friction surface can delaminate and come off the main uh, shoe and then rattle around in there and basically break up your wheel bearing hub assembly so for the sake of 20 pounds when you're in there you really may as well change the shoes there's no point uh, risking it even though these are in great condition um, so yeah so let's uh, let's get this cable sorted out oh oh now I told you I was gonna do the spring wasn't I? yeah so these springs here so these would be holding the handbrake shoes on you can see the little slot there now a lot easier to see and so basically the spring would be hooked on there see how it comes around there and all you would do with the handbrake shoe in place would be to use some long nose pliers or something and you would basically press this in and then either bring it across or angle it so it comes out that way and then for installing you push it in straight and then bring it across and once it's hooked in then it's all nice and secure so push in angle and it unhooks and um, yeah the first time you do it they're, they're tricky but by the time the tenth time you do it they're still fucking tricky so you know they're just gits to do that's why you uh, always have spares on hand um, right handbrake cable okay so we're in the car now the cable on the left that's the new cable I've already fitted on the other side and this is with no tension this is with the handbrake fully um, unwound and that's with no tension so you can see the difference in length between old cable and new cable so that's why when your handbrake starts getting crap if you've used up all of your adjustment on the knot then uh, and your cables are are up here somewhere this you know the the this bar has brought them all the way up here that's where your cable that's where new cables are so if your cables are all the way up here then that's a very good hint that uh, it's your cables and they're stretched and they're just not allowing 
enough um, leverage. So this one just here, all I'm going to do is unhook it, uh, which is impossible to do whilst filming. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so basically you just manipulate this down, pull this up as much as you can. But because all the handbrake assembly is undone, I've got a lot of slack here. So I'll just get that unhooked. Okay, so that's the cable unhooked. And all I've done, I've just got some fairly strong electrical flex which I've tied in a reef knot on there and that's going to help with installing the new cable and, uh, and you'll see so yeah I've got a decent length on that so I have around about I don't know half a meter a meter of, uh, of cable on there and now we'll we'll go under the car okay well the observance amongst you will realize we're not under the car just yet see the um, this whole mechanism just here you need to just try and get it out from under the from around the hub just give it a pull okay pull it out and then tug on the whole thing you can see the handbrake cable just in there this needs to go that way whilst the cable comes this way and underneath is a little tab just there and basically with a smaller screwdriver than this I would need to lift that up and have the cable pushing in that direction that will then send this lug to this part here and then the lug comes out okay sometimes that's easy sometimes it's not so I'm gonna do plan B which is to unhook this part just here so I've just taken this out of there and I'm going to send this through and, uh, and we'll unhook it the alternative way. Okay, so this just here, this is the, the handbrake cable just here and there's a nib that you get a screwdriver under and you prise it out. See that? Once it's prized out, you can uh, just pull and the whole thing comes through. Okay, the whole thing will come through there. And um, all you do then is you follow the handbrake cable. Let me just sort the camera out. Okay, so you follow the handbrake cable it'll be dead easy when you've got it there when you've got it in front of you there's this clip here which just unhooks okay and that just comes off over the top then you follow it along and you get to this bolt here that's 12 mil take that off follow the cable to there and you just unhook it from out of the um, the bodywork there and you follow it all the way along and you can see just in there that's where it goes into the rear passenger compartment so that's where you're following it up to and that's where you'll be pulling the handbrake through and uh, and I'll show you all that now Okay, so the handbrake cable that we've uh, tied off, you can start pushing that through. Okay, so the carpet's lifted up in the back. There's the cable just there. And all I'm going to do, see those rubber things there, I'm just going to start pushing it through. There we go, it's broken free. See how it's disappearing in? and pull the whole cable and that will then start taking the rest of the cable through and the tied off bit as well 
and push that through under the car. So there's the cable that we've pulled through and here it comes now. See at the end of it, there's your, uh, there's your tie. So at this point you untie that part there. So pull this all the way through. That's that. And that's the whole cable released. So we've got the new and old cables together. The old cable on the right, you can see, looks in great condition. That's the heads together. But it's just that difference in length. See the bobble? The bobble on that one there compared, whoops, compared to that one just there. And this will have much more stretch in it. So, uh, so yeah, that's why we've done it. So like, it's a lot easier to see now. See how that needs to just go upwards and out. And then this will be put onto the new cable. Where the cable comes through the bodywork, just give it a bit of a once over. So if there's any obvious large bits of debris, rust, anything like that, just poke a screwdriver through there. Because when you, when you install the new one, you just want everything to be as smooth as possible. And uh, just get some brake cleaner in there. all around that area and the uh, the part that the cable goes into I've just given it a clean up just a bit of a sand in just to get it a little bit smoother so uh, corrosion uh, doesn't um, catch on it and, uh, and it slides in that hole nice and easily okay so new cable down into there and a bit of sharp tug and you hear it click in place there and it's stopped by that tab just there so that's all ready to go there and then passing it in front of the anti-roll bar link send it back through put some brake grease on the black o-ring and you just locate it in that hole there Look out for the white tab, and there's a cutout just in the bodywork there. Make sure it goes in there. It's got to sit flush inside that cutout. And you can hear it click in when it goes in. Okay. So this mechanism here, this is how it goes. Yeah, so you just open it and then you put this part down. Is this showing it? I'm not sure it is. It goes and hooks down into, into here. That's gone in just there. So that's hooked down in there. And that's it, that's ready to um, have the, the pads put onto it. Okay, so it's time to put the new shoes on. Here they are. There's the comparison between old and new. So as you can see, the actual size of the material, no different really, but that nice clean surface on fresh discs. So that's also gonna help with the new cables. Shoes only go on one way. So um, they've got two holes for the springs, one there and one at the top. So one at the bottom, one at the top. And the one at the top near the pad always goes towards the back of the car. So if I was doing the other side of the car, it would be like that but um, so yeah so all I'm going to do is get it lined up with that hole there 
and I'm going to install that uh, Okay, so I've got the bottom shoe with the spring. I'm just going to take that spring behind the expander and the hub. Just try and get it hooked in there. Take it behind the expander. And that should firm everything up there. And then it's a question of dragging it down. Lovely. That's great. Okay, to make installing the bottom spring easier, I've got the fixed expander just here. Put it onto one half. And then put it onto the top. that holds that bottom pad more in place and now hopefully you can see that the holes line up just there so I'll just install that bottom spring now in so that's all in there and then the final spring it's almost like you pay back because the, the final spring is probably the easiest in fact it is the easiest so it just goes, goes on these outer ones just here you can sometimes if you've got the grip you can sometimes get it in by hand it. So that's that assembly done so I now need to finish off uh, installing the cable and you can kind of tug at the cable as much as you like now because none of this is going to come apart. Okay so I'll get the end of the cable and I'll tie it, I'll tie it onto um, the wire so I can pull it up into the cart. Okay so that's the cable pulled through that far and then I just use the wire to pull it under the tunnelling so I can get it in position make sure that thick part comes through that's it once that's through it's pretty straightforward tugging the cable into position then as soon as it's pulled through see it just there I'm going to put both sides onto uh, onto this bar here, get those hooked up, then they can't go anywhere. And of course, just keep tugging this cable here. I can just feel the rubber bung starting to come through. And if you see how it is on that side, that's how it needs to look. So uh, the, the bung normally has a, a, a lip on it. One side goes this side of the bodywork and uh, the other side goes on the outside of the bodywork so just pull that through and make sure that's sealed there okay so that's seated nicely there and where it comes through the bodywork can we see it just there there we go so that's seated nicely there so it's just a question then of just tidying up this is like a buffer just here so you can kind of wedge it a little bit further up like that this one whoops 
this here this wedges underneath and um, yeah and there we go and then you just adjust up the the handbrake nut and um, you've got yourself a working handbrake lovely and I hope you find that useful thanks for watching